where I have to factor the polynomial below as the product of two binomials. And we have n times n minus 1 plus 3 times n minus 1. So I encourage you to pause this video and see if you can figure this out. Well, the key is to realizing that both of these terms have n minus 1 as a factor. Let me just rewrite the whole thing so we can work on it down here. So this is n times n minus 1 plus 3 times n minus 1. And notice, both of them have an n minus 1, have an n minus 1 as a factor. So what we could do is factor out the n minus 1, or you could, you could view it as undistributing the n minus 1. And if we do that, we're going to factor out the n minus 1. And what are we going to have left over? Well, if you take out the n minus 1 here, if you undistribute it out, you're just going to be left with, you are just going to be left with that n. So you're going to have an n there. And then for this second term, you factor this n minus 1 out. You're just going to be left with this positive 3 plus 3. And just like that, we are done. We have, we have factored the polynomial below as a, as a product of two binomials. So this is the same thing as n minus 1 times n plus 3. And once again, you can check this. You can take this n minus 1 and distribute it. n minus 1 times n is this term right over here, n times n minus 1. And then n minus 1 times 3 is this term right over here, n minus 1 times 3, or 3 times n minus 1.